Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. From wherever in the world you're watching us from. We say you're welcome to the Susu TV. Now I'm reaching you from the corporate communication team attached to the Visionary Architect Office of uh, Susu Oil. And today is actually just not another video. Today is a journey. Right now, I'm standing here in Ethiopia East local government area of Delta State, surrounded by a vast palm estate. A few moments ago, I just finished having an important meeting with the leaders of this estate, actually a strategic alignment in order to strengthen our ties as well as expand relationships and bolster social oil's ecosystem as a credible aggregator and palm supplier of edible oils. If you looked very closely, you would notice the vehicle behind me, generously provided by the estate management. And that's because we're about to begin our trip to Naifor. This is the best place of history, the cradle of West Africa's palm oil innovation. And today, Susu Oil is headed there with purples. Now, <laughs> it's a new day, and I'm just trying to get all right in order to begin the journey to Naifor. Let me reflect on yesterday's uh, trip from Ethiopia East Delta State, where we left around 3 p.m. And honestly, the network was not this short of terrible. It was impossible, and the heavy rains made everything worse. We were stuck for almost two hours because of reckless truck drivers who had blocked the road completely. Movement was shut down. This is a good moment to respectfully call on the Federal Ministry of Works that the Edo Delta route must be redeveloped. This corridor is critical to agriculture, logistics, and economic activities. Eventually, we managed to push through and we arrived at Benin City at 9.30 p.m. A journey that ordinarily should have taken one hour ended up taking six and a half hours. <laughs> when we got into Benin, we checked into our Airbnb, already booked by our team, rested, recharged, and prepared ourselves for today's mission. Right now, as you can see on your screen, we're headed towards a local junction, the main intersection leading straight to NIFO. Yes, the journey was extremely stressful, but I believe in something. Purpose is not always easy, but it is always worth it. This trip matters because Susu Oil is positioning itself with the Vatican of Palm Oil in Sub-Saharan Africa, the Nigerian Institute for Oil Palm Research. Our VC to Life for executive management team is designed with three timelines in mind. Short term, which is immediate alignment on product development for our edible oils ecosystem. Medium term, which is collaboration on innovative agricultural solutions and access to research-based insights. And then finally, long term, to catalyze and concretize our vision as an agritech, transforming Africa's edible oils into a global powerhouse. Now, part of this visit is also to open discussions around acquiring hybrid Tenera siblings for our upcoming Susu Palm Plantation and to explore ideas for our future Susu Palm Resorts, a bold vision that will merge agritourism, production, and education. Now, I need you to sit down, sit back, relax, grab a popcorn, grab a Coke, and just enjoy. Follow me all through this journey. See the sights and sound through my eyes. And let's get to Nifo together.
and now we have finally arrived night four behind me is the iconic signage that spells out their full name nigerian institute for oil palm research the road leading here was yet another challenge narrow single lane and in dire need of reconstruction this is a respectful call again to the Edo state government and the federal government of nigeria a national and sub-saharan treasure like nifo deserves modern access roads and full infrastructure ground support founded in 1939 nifo played a crucial role in making nigeria one of the world's biggest exporters of palm oil responsible for about 40 to 43 percent of global production let me take that again responsible for about 40 to 43 percent of global production during its peak this heritage must never be forgotten and must never be neglected right now we're inside the knife of premises <laughs> as you can see on your screen taking you through a moving shot of the extensive palm plantations on the left you would see the old dura palms tall majestic likely planted in the early 1980s this plantation spans four miles in all directions not south east and west it's enormous nifo still produces palm oil today but unfortunately their refinery has not worked in years due to outdated and dilapidated infrastructure because of that they mostly sell their palm, their fresh fruit bunches fab to major industry players i won't mention names here okay for security reasons now this is another respectful appeal to the federal ministry of agriculture and the federal government it is time to perform a surgical intervention to revive this national asset this treasure has been left in the rain for too long meanwhile companies like okomu fresco okitikupa and even foreign companies who once learned from nifo have now outgrown outshone outperformed them in, in scale size and vision and those state has always attracted the attention of even the european union missions and the ECOWAS because of its strategic importance and here is why agripreneurs including soft oil must consider a state for palm estate development here are the reasons why number one humid rainforest climate oil palm tries best where rainfall is abundant and well distributed number two soil ecology edo provides deep well-drained nutrient-rich soil ideal for high yield oil palms and number three soil ph the slightly acidic to neutral ph range in edo state is perfect for palm root development number four consistency in temperature and sunlight the stable tropical climate accelerates fruiting circles in simple terms yes <laughs> a dose date is nature's own palm oil headquarters now as we get to the end of this journey you're seeing on this side of the road the fully fruiting hybrid tenera palms let me educate you quickly 
hybrid tenera is produced by crossbreeding the female dual palm inflorescence with the sterile male piscifera inflorescence. This cross produces the tenera, a superior variety that gives higher oil yield per acre, bigger bunches, and more efficient processing. This is the same variety planted in Susu oil plantation, which many of you have already seen. For those who haven't seen, the link is right here on your screen or go to our homepage and watch that video. Many of the companies mentioned earlier, talking about Okomu, Presco and others are listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. And yes, indeed, yes. Susu Oil's long-term mission is, part, is to be part of that destiny, okay? To get listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange one day. Now, like I said, that's a long-term mission and vision of executive board members and management of Susu Oil, okay? As this video comes to an end, let me state clearly, Susu Oil is in the edible oils business for the long haul this is not a sprint it's actually a marathon we are building meaningful mutually beneficial partnerships we are deepening our ecosystem we are creating value that lasts we are inviting all stakeholders to join us in shaping the future please remember to subscribe share comment and follow as well as tag the authorities that need to see this video part two of our knife horse series is coming pretty soon so ensure that you click on the bell icon that will that will get notified every time when our videos drop this is as well transforming africa's edible oil into a global powerhouse cheers